What is going on guys, Gabsito here, and today I am bringing you a League of Legends commentary, and this is not your average commentary, because this is a 4v5, I'm playing Needly in the jungle, which is one of my mains, I love to play her, I've always played her mid, but I decided to uh, start playing her jungle, because that's uh, basically the new meta, and I've been enjoying that a lot, and winning quite a lot too. And this is actually my second 4v5 gameplay on this channel, and both are with Needly so far. But the story building up to this is quite insane, because this is my Platinum Promotions, and uh, I was Gold 1 at this point, and this is my third promotion series, and <clears throat> I, I won the first game. This uh, Alistar is really good by the way. Our AD carry, Sivir, I think, is AFK since the start. She never comes back. She's just AFK. And Alistar manages to, instead of just that sitting bot and, you know, trying to get XP, he roams around, gives uh, kills to top and uh, mid lane, as well as uh, with my help. So we're gonna head bot lane, me and Alistar here, and this is actually a pretty cool play. We're gonna go for Caitlyn here, she's all by herself. I'm gonna throw my spear, miss that. Caitlyn is gonna go a little bit greedy. She's gonna walk on my trap that I just put out. I'm gonna throw the Q, jump in for her. All these minions, I'm like, can I get the kill? I'm not sure. But I hit my spear right between, like, next to the minions. And here comes Thresh. And he's gonna be able to kill Alistar here with the uh, Ignite. I think, and he's almost gonna kill me too, because there's a lot of minions, but I'm gonna flash away, throw my spear, get him, GG, two kills. And this promotion series is like one of the most insane things ever, because I started out the promotion with one win, and as you may know, uh, to get promoted to a different uh, like league, like platinum, from gold to platinum, or from platinum to diamond, or whatever, you need to win three out of five games, and I won, I won the first one, with Needly Jungle, I think, and then I played another Needly game, and I unfortunately lost to a pretty good Chaco in the enemy team that carried them pretty hard by split pushing, and he was just completely annoying. And then I played one more instantly after that, and I played against the same freaking Chaco jungle with Needly in the jungle, but this time I had a top laner that was AFK for the whole game. He didn't ever join back, like he was AFK, he played Nasus too. Uh, and he was he was going top, but he never came back. It was level one in base all game, so a four v five in my promo just insta lose like that. Um, so that was so fortunate, and I was so mad after that. I was already mad after that Shaco game because he was uh, we could have won that game. And then I played against the same Shaco randomly queued up with him. And I had a freaking AFK that just insta lost the game. Uh, and at this point, I'm like, okay, I've got one win, two losses. If I if I lose one game, it's over. And I start this game, and I have an AFK, and I'm like, okay, it's over. Fuck this. I was thinking that Riot was plotting to m make me quit the game or something. I don't know. Like two games in a row, DC that never come back. <clears throat> what are the freaking odds for that? I mean, come on. Uh, and I so deserved to win this game, <clears throat> because I think I had AFKers in my last promotion series as well. And it seems that always when you're in promo, uh, you have AFKers. It's insane. I don't know if you have any experience of that. But I'm t two uh, loses down in one win, and, you know, I'm not going to give up, even if it's 4v5. You know, it's promo. I'm going to try to win. I never surrender. Uh, definitely not in a promotion game. Definitely not when we're actually ahead early and I gotta give some credit to this Alistar because he did a terrific job at roaming early um, He went top early and gave Renekton a kill instead of uh, standing bot lane just gathering XP uh, So he was he managed to snowball with that, but I mean Renekton keeps getting killed and it's 11 and 7. It's 4v5 I mean, it's it's not looking very good at this point and I'm ke I keep getting hooked like I I'm freaking attached to that spear, and I couldn't do anything, I just got deleted. So at this point, it's looking pretty bad, it's almost lost. Uh, and I'm actually going to be getting a frozen heart this game, because that's one thing 
another good thing about this game. I mean, despite that it, the fact that it's 4v5, it's still against full AD. They're all AD. They have no AP characters. So we can just stack armor and not worry about uh, any uh, AP at all. So you're going to see me building a frozen heart. I would never do that if uh, it wasn't for the fact that that they are full AD and I need some uh, armor and I should be getting Sonny's Hourglass as well I think I get that item this game uh, and Trinomir comes here uh, I try to split push a little bit because we need objectives we can't just let them uh, push down our base because I mean Needly is completely useless if you don't hit your spears before fight and 5v5 she's not fantastic I mean she's good at snowballing but and this is 4v5 too <laughs> I almost forgot that, but even 5v5 Needly isn't that great because because she relies on hitting her spear and then she can go in and delete the AD carry if she's lucky that it hit the AD carry. But even with that, it's still a big risk. Uh, you can't just jump in because you're pretty much dead. Uh, so either you're gonna have to jump in, get a kill and then use your Sonyas uh, so you can uh, have your team engage after that and protect you. But, I mean, you're going to be building like an assassin. And if you don't hit your spear, you're pretty useless. So, group up against Neely and don't let her poke, just engage. That's the best way to beat her. Uh, but they don't really do that. They, they kind of, maybe they think that, oh, the game is won because it's 4v5. They can't win this. And we're grouped up at this point. <clears throat> That's kind of what we should do this game still. Because we're so far ahead. And they keep getting... Uh, picked one by one. I'm gonna get killed uh, by Vi and Varus combo there. Uh, and I hate Vi so much, like her ult is just so annoying, uh, especially when you're playing uh, Needly uh, and you need to stay back and just poke. And then she comes with her Q and flash and just clicks you with her ult, and you can't do anything. It's just so annoying. Uh, we're gonna go for Baron here, I think, because we need some we need some advantage. Like we can't win without Baron. Uh, we're not actually gonna go for it now. And finally, I dodged that thresh hook. Uh, I've been hooked a lot lately, but I managed to dodge that one. And this is pretty much the game breaking play. Like Vigar gets caught, killed by uh, Trinibir and Caitlyn. There, I get killed as well. <clears throat> and we're like, okay, it's over now. I I'm so pissed at this point. Like my promotion is gone. <clears throat> They're killing us all. They're pushing down the base. And someone is going to start a surrender vote here, actually, uh, because they're going to ace us. And I actually click yes, and that was by mistake, I swear to God. Like, I did not mean to click yes. As you can see, I clicked it very quick. I was actually aiming to click no. But I clicked yes, and I got really scared here, so I'm almost typing in chat there, so they take no. But they take no anyway before I type that. And I was really scared that we were going to surrender, because even if it's, it looks pretty bad right now, I still don't want to surrender. It's my promo, and I don't want to get, like, freaking failed here in my uh, platinum promos. And I'm going to go in for the little nice play here. Uh, and delete one after one, various, Vi, and then go for Thresh here. The spears just connect every time. And unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to land that spear on Caitlyn thanks to the minions being in the way. But I still think that was... <laughs> I don't know. Was it worth it? Maybe not, because even if I kill three people, they, I mean, like, one kill for them is much better than maybe two kills for us, or at least one kill for them is better than one kill for us. Like, if, if it's like a one kill for one trade, then it's not really good for us because it's 4v5, so we need to, like, kill two people and then, um... <clears throat> Maybe have one die in our team for it to be worth uh, But if we, we only get one for one, it's definitely not worth it, but that was one for three So might have been worth it. Uh, I don't know Depends on if how much they need me, but uh, I was able they they didn't didn't do anything um, Except now they're pushing bot lane. So I'm just gonna try to go for Caitlyn here uh, Renekton is actually gonna kill him uh, himself <coughs> And I'm gonna take the blue buff I, I can need that. I mean, I want to spam my spears and I want to spam my heals. I think it's better than giving it to Vygar because he kind of gets caught a little bit and 
I've been caught many times. Don't don't get me wrong. Like I've been, I've been hit by that uh, hook, uh, thresh hook, so many times. But he played pretty well, to be honest. Um, Azstar is gonna do a beautiful knock up there, forcing Trinomir to use his ult, <clears throat> and that's that's really crucial, because in a five v four against he's gonna put another surrender vote there. Thresh is gonna do a nice lantern and beautiful headbutt by Alistar. As I said, he's he's doing amazing. I'm gonna miss my spear uh, right there, but he's doing so great on uh, on Alistar. <coughs> And it really helped us win this game. And we're gonna be able to take the dragons. So we're still getting all the dragons. I don't think they've had any dragons yet. Uh, we got the turrets. They have, like, I think they got more push than us in terms of turrets right now. Turrets right now. <laughs> but we still get the dragons. We got turrets. And we're actually just gonna uh, delete Trinimer here. Because, no, actually not. Uh, he's gonna have his ult. So I'm gonna flash out. And I'm gonna be able to kill him because I see that his ult is out. So it's a little bit of a risk. If he got another crit there, I probably would have died. <laughs> but as I said, we really need Baron. Like, we can't win without Baron. We, like, four people pushing down against five just isn't enough. If you're a 4v5, you really need those empowered minions. So we know that we're. We have to win a fight and then go straight to Baron. That's that's like a must. I'm gonna get hooked once again by Thresh here. But I'm gonna be able to Sonyas and I'm actually gonna be able to jump away here. Uh, Vegar is gonna kill Trinomir, so that's really nice. Uh, I'm gonna tr I'm not gonna be greedy here and uh, stick around for more damage because I'm really low. Uh, but I'm gonna be able to escape Vi right here and take the red buff. So we really don't want to give up a bear. Like that, it's the most important thing right now. So I'm gonna, as you can see, uh, I'm gonna clear the camps here, and then I'm gonna go back for a frozen heart uh, at some point here. Uh, almost. Uh, actually, we're gonna start a fight. Renekton is gonna go in. He's gonna do a beautiful headbutt again. That Al Alistar, and look at that. Trinomir got deleted. I don't even. Maybe he had his ult, but he he got bursted way too quick. Um, I don't know. Uh, but we managed to kill him. I'm gonna hit my spear on Caitlyn. Uh, gonna do some nice damage. Varus is gonna miss his ult. I'm gonna throw my spear. Uh, fortunately, not gonna hit anyone. But I see Varus still recalling. Throw the spear next to Vi. Get that kill. And I'm actually gonna be able to escape here as well. Uh, we're gonna try to go for a little bit of damage on... Uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna use my Sonus there for the Kate ultimate. I'm actually gonna go in. Uh, I don't wanna go in full because I know Caitlyn is coming, but... We can kind of put some pressure onto them, and we we still really can't get Baron because until we kill Vi maybe because we really don't want to risk her stealing it. That would be terrible. Uh, so we're gonna kill Vi here. Trinimer is gonna come. He's just gonna get deleted once again. Look at that. Uh, we're gonna go for Thresh here and pick him up really quickly. So this is the point. Like this is where where we either push the base or get Baron. Uh, but we're gonna push instead. Alistar is gonna be do a beautiful dive once again <coughs> and force the AD carry to back away so we can get the Nexus or uh, inhibitor turret here at mid. Uh, and we can't really rely on our poke as well. Like, Needle is a poke champion, but I mean, they have great amounts of poke as well, thanks to Varus and Caitlyn. But right here, I'm gonna go back to base, finish my Frozen Heart. Uh, totally worth it because Vi is on me every single time. She wants to shut me down, ult me, and just delete me out of the fight. And pretty soon we are gonna group up for a Baron. Uh, we're sticking around Baron, every one of us. <laughs> and we actually find Thresh here. Uh, that's exactly what we need at this point. We need to catch someone off guard uh, when they can't do anything. I'm gonna hit my spear on Vi, but because of her Banshee's Veil, she's gonna be able to recall anyway. And that's actually probably good because now we're gonna be able to kill this Baron pretty easily but actually Vi is gonna flash over the wall and I'm like shit and I managed to smite it anyway I'm gonna jump over any point any second now I mean and I'm gonna use my Sonyas that was probably stupid because I just that was like instinct to use Sonyas but I, I should have just jumped over and tried to run um, Chernimir is gonna come from the side here so I have to juke and run the other way <laughs> 
Vi's gonna get her Q up again, unfortunately, and she's gonna be able to shut me down here. But we still got four dragons at this point, or four barons, I mean. Uh, four barons for our team, and that was really all we needed to, uh, to just close this game and end it. Because, I mean, if Vi managed to steal that baron and smite it, I mean, I don't even know if we would win the game. I think we would have probably lost. Uh, we're gonna find Trinomir here. But he's going to be able to uh, get over the wall anyway. <clears throat> uh, Trinomir is going to get completely deleted. And at this point, I'm so happy. Like, okay, Trinomir is gone off the map. He didn't even manage to ult. I'm going to get hooked, but doesn't really matter. We're going to push down the first inhibitor turret. Inhibitor turret. Um, Caitlyn is going to do an attempt at backdooring. But really, it's not going to matter. We're just going to kill this Vi. <clears throat> She's going to... Try to save some time, run away. Uh, but we're, thanks to the Baron minions, we're gonna be able to push these turrets down really quickly. Like these small things. Like if Vi just managed to smite that Baron, this game probably would have lost. We would have probably lost this game. I mean, those small things. Like so small things can have such a big impact. Um, and I'm not even gonna. Okay, I'm gonna die here. I will die, and I'm so desperate here that they will just take the Nexus and end the game. And this was my fourth game, as I said, in my promo, and I'm happy to tell you that actually, this after this game, I played Malphite top, and we won pretty easily, and I got promoted to Platinum. So I guess the message of this video is to never give up. Even if you're left in a 4v5 twice in the same promo, you can still win. So don't give up. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Peace. Yeah, and there's nothing to do for I mean, they got a couple of early kills. Beautiful execution on a double dank, double gank, no dank. <laughs> That's no memes there. Double dank, double dank.